swap through my characters. <laughs> and oh yes, it is very, very satisfying. Oh, take that, you fuckers! Woo! I downloaded and played episode Ignis today, and wow. Out of three episodes, this one is definitely the most fast-paced. I was able to get through it in about an hour and 20 minutes, though it can't take much longer if you wanted to complete everything that this episode has to offer. So what do I like about episode Ignis? Well, the gameplay. This is by far my favorite episode. Ignis is fast, like super crazy fast, possibly faster than Noctis. Your weapon is the twin swords, and you can change the elemental properties with your directional buttons, so it's very easy to control. The damage depends on the element you choose, and it also affects the mini limit break skill called Total Clarity. The special attack I found the most useful is the Spear Jump. This allows you to dodge some really hard hitting blows against you. While the sheer number of enemies can be overwhelming at times, it is thanks to Iggy's speed that makes the battle so much fun, and taking down large numbers of enemies isn't as hard as it looked. I almost felt disappointed when I killed them all so quickly. You can also avoid attacks with the grappling hook, and man, is this thing ever so much fun! It's basically a substitute for Noctis's warp skill in the main game, but for some reason the grappling hook just... It feels so much more satisfying. You can swing into the rooftops and explore Atilsia from above and swing down for the kill. Driving the boat is actually pretty fun. It's a lot like the Skidoo in Episode Pronto, though it's not nearly as long. At least it doesn't seem that long because this scene is very intense with everything falling from the sky and explosions everywhere, so at least the time flies by much faster. The last bosses are... Well, they're not underwhelming, but I would be lying if I said that they were a challenge. I think I only used one item in fighting them, but out of the three episodes, Ignis definitely has the easiest boss fights. Now, what don't I like in episode Ignis? Well, the story. It's not bad. I actually quite liked it. I just found it really short. This episode had about half the story and cutscenes that Prompto had. In fact, most of the time, you're liberating sections of Altesia. But I'm an asshole, so I plowed through the city killing what I needed to in order to continue on with the plot. The little story you do get is quite informative and very intense. Especially when you see how Ignis loses his sight. Something I dare not spoil here. I will say this. If you're one of those people who cried at the end of the main game, Odds are you're going to be doing the same at the end of episode Ignis. Overall, I really liked this episode, despite the plot's shortcoming. Even if you're just a casual fan of Final Fantasy XV, I'd say download it even if you don't have a season pass. The gameplay is great, music is awesome, it has replay value, and it is emotionally charged. I'd say check it out. Tibi Neko, signing out.